GetTrax is a Max for Live device that you can use to separate all pads that are in use in a drum rack and have the tracks renamed according to the individual sounds. When adding the GetTrax device to your set, it will find and list all drum racks with MIDI clips in the session view with two or more sounds in use. In the right section, you see the pads that are going to be separated to different tracks. By selecting Extract, the drum rack is duplicated as many times as needed for all the pads. Once there are enough tracks, the tracks will rename themselves to the name of each pad that has been separated. The MIDI clips in each of the tracks have also been adjusted by muting all the notes that weren't associated with the particular pad. You can also define groups before extracting your drum rack so that you can keep some pads grouped together. Auto group is on by default. For example, looking at this other drum rack here, you can see that hi-hats are grouped and also these piano samples and these bass samples. When extracting this rack, you will get grouped pads together and the rest of the sounds on separate channels. If the drum rack you are working with is grouped inside another rack that contains an effect chain for all your drums, you will need to ungroup the rack and cut out the master effect before creating your separated tracks to avoid getting your drum bus on every sound. After you got your separated tracks you can instead group them together and add the effect to that group. This way you can keep the same sound while still having your separated tracks and clips. When auto group is off, no groups are created when reloading your rack. Regardless of whether auto group is on or off, you can always manually adjust your groups before extracting the rack. You can also use Colorize to color code your separated tracks according to the type of instrument. Drum sounds will get the color of the original rack channel, and other sounds like effects, instruments and percussion will get other colors so you can find them easier. It's a good idea to always select Reload Racks before starting to group or extract your rack to make sure everything is synced with any changes you might have done in your set.